Hi there, horror fans. Welcome to Tenebra Gaming. I hope you're enjoying the game so far. It does have its ups and downs, and sometimes it gets a little boring, and sometimes it gets scary as hell. Today's episode is mostly about puzzle solving and storyline, but anyway, that's enough chit-chat for now. Let's just get into the game. So we fell through that portal, and we found ourselves in this place. This looks like some sort of laboratory or something. I've seen that before somewhere. The woman from the Oasis. Hmm. What's this? Some foreign writing. So you're translated. Under the sign of Ranu on the fourth rise at the eighth calling, uh, blah blah blah. Okay, so the Empress had some sort of disease. Looks like they were into some sort of alchemy. Feel free to pause this and read these if you want. So they were looking for some sort of cure for the Empress's disease, and that's what this whole thing is about. Basically what they call the Vitae is some sort of thing that makes the Empress immortal. Okay, this one doesn't want to translate. Nope. So only the blue ones then. Anything interesting? Bunch of diagrams and stuff. None of it looks really interesting. What's this thing? Okay, what'd that do? What's this? I find myself again confined. A day should not matter, but each day feels like waste. There is so much to do. Tamaku tells me that now, with Vitae, I have forever. But the people who depend on me do not. There is always something. Invasion, rivalry, sickness, penury. I have my duty. Perhaps I should end these sessions. Now they've found a way to stabilize the disease. I should be ecstatic. I should accept my fate and move on. It is such a faint hope that they can find any way to heal me. That they can find any way to grant my dearest wish. 
Now you are eternal, says Tamaku. Now you need no heir. None of them understand. This is not about politics or securing a future. This is not for the Empire. This is for me. Just for me. What's in the name of God? Some sort of memory thing. All right, so after running around, I figured this thing out. I'm so glad you're all right. Took me a minute. So those are power relays. I move it close enough and it activates something. In this case, it powered the door. I don't know if there's going to be any monsters around here, so that's freaking me out, kind of. Place looks like it has potential. There could be monsters. Though I don't know. Looks like puzzle time. Okay, so this thing moves those. We've got three symbols. And we've got a match. Okay, oh, whatever that is is broken. Interesting cubes. Chair. Oh, what's this? Crystal ball. It feels like, like it's waking up. <laughs> oh, there's a diagram there. So the sphere goes in the center. around. That was one of those power modules. Bring that out here. Let's go ahead and put the sphere in here. Okay. Oh, there's a lever. Got to pull the lever. over here we needed. Probably not. Okay, it doesn't seem to have done anything. I think we gotta play with this thing first. Yeah, it's not powering up. Okay. 
All right, so we got three symbols on the wall in the other room. We gotta match these with. So that looks right. See him on the wall over there. There we go. Now what'd that do? It doesn't seem to have powered that thing up, whatever it is. stuck in this room right now. Looks like a rift over there. Uh, if we take this out, does the door open up again? Yep. See if there's anything in here. Yeah, there's a rift over there. Another rift. That could be our way out. Does this thing do anything? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything over here. I didn't read this. The configuration of the new test gate has been delayed by a failure. Place the orb in the center, selecting the focusing symbols for the alignment. Insert two full cells of Vitae. I didn't say what to do afterward. Okay. So I think that thing's like a transporter. monsters in this part. So we gotta power that up so we can go in there. Seems pretty quiet. Okay, so let's bring this out there. one up. Ooh. What the hell is this? It's that tower. Place is creepy. was a white sun at the great gate. It tore the air and the land. A corruption of living flesh crawls from the hole in the world and turns all to ash and rust. The control stones have turned against my kindred, shaping them into floating wraiths of nightmare. The city falls. I am to blame. 
my companions took my formula, some to use it to destroy the Vitae at the gate, others to infect the Vitae pipelines and end the suffering. The gate has indeed fallen, but catastrophically, unleashing energies beyond belief. Still the factory scream. We have failed in the worst of ways. It is my duty to stay at my post, to see if I can find means to end it. I have no choice but to use the Vitae. An ocean holds the great empress to life, so a meager portion will suffice for me. If any find this record, know that I was the traitor Kita. Alchemist, apprentice to Tamaku. Forgive us our folly. Interesting. So they opened the portal and something happened. It has taken me many, many rises in the gaps between my work for Tamaku, but finally it is done. I have a formula which is in sympathy with the pulse of the orb. I can provoke the symptoms of the red flesh, and with it will come destruction, channeled through the Vitae network. This might be the answer we seek. Uh -huh. Tamaku's early experiments with the orbs summoned an entity, a creature, that scarred the world with its passing and wreaked utter destruction. The scar took the form of living, pulsating flesh. I have studied the orb, and I now know why the scars appear. I believe I can make use of the same perturbation to achieve our own ends. Not like a good perturbation. Hmm. A lot of weird stuff around here. Must have been a huge city. That's pretty big from there. So we gotta put some in the lamp. You know, those are laden jars, huh? Okay, I think we're done out here.
Yep. Okay, let's grab this and go down here. Activating this door again. Let's see if we put it up here. Is it close enough? No. I wonder if we can take the one out of the other room over here. Probably not, because. When we move it, it's going to close this door here. Yep, close the door. Hmm. So we got to do it with one. Some strange world, that's for sure. I don't think there's any more of those around. Is this thing? Does this thing do anything? No, this doesn't do anything. Looks like one of those, uh, one of the emitters or something. Oh, yeah, we gotta put the power modules in here, huh? Sphere back in. Put the orb in here. Sent those cubes over to the other room. Can I jump in? <laughs> okay. Oh, I bet I'm supposed to send this thing over. It's on the other side of the door, though. I gotta pull the orb out again. Alright, I can grab it. Come on. Oh, what the heck? Uh, did it just disappear? Yep, sure did. All right, so I had to reload. Did 
do love bugs. All right, so we sent that over to the other room. Now we got power over there. And we're gonna have to open this thing back up and take the orb out to uh, open the doors. the town and the doctor but how can that be ah, something just uh oh changed not to miss the next episode. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.